Last year we didn't do nearly as well as I thought we would. Um, so this year we're really hoping to do a lot better and finish um, finish a lot higher rank than we did last year. And um, I have a really good number one boy singles, Kevin Arms. He's done really, really well, and um, I definitely expect him to go really far. Um, hopefully, makes regional. I definitely think we stack up well against everybody this year. Um, again, last year was a little rocky, but um, but I think that we stack up stack up fairly well against everybody. They are building, we have six courts right now that, that we're on, um, but they need all new fencing. Um, they've been like this since I got here, and um, all new windscreens. They're gonna resurface all six of these courts, and there are three new ones right over here that they're um, pouring right now. Um, so all new fences, so it'll be nine brand new, beautiful courts. That will bring a lot of people. That's the first thing I said when I walked on to Irving High School. I said, if you want people to play tennis, we gotta have better facilities, so. They're doing it now three years later, so it's great. Team finished really well last year. I had uh, I didn't have as many seniors as I've had in the past. Um, fall tennis, we did well. Um, I had some different problems throughout the year with injuries. We ended up finishing fourth in the district last year, uh, which wasn't as good as I was hoping with the team that I had. Um, I lost the girl that I've had for four years that was the best in the district. So this year is expected to be a little bit of a low and starting out this year, my girls pretty much carried our team. Um, and we finished third place. We, we, due to one injury with our girl, we should have finished second this year in district. Gone to regionals this team, which would be the, the furthest we've ever gone, which was good. Um, but as far, as far as everything's going right now, um, we, we had a tournament two weeks ago where my girls have gotten first and second place in, in singles, um, which is surprising to me from what I've lost. They're just stepping up and taking over, which is good. I've got a lot of good senior uh, leadership this year. I've had, uh, out of my 16 players, I've got 13 seniors, which is good for me this year. So we've got to step it up for next year. Uh, but the team looks good. The team looks really good. Well, in the spring of last year, we ended up probably third place in the district. Um, and uh, I graduated 14 seniors, all my boys and all my girls, basically. Uh, and uh, so I knew this year would be a rebuilding year, uh, but I'm really, I'm really pleased with what we've got going right now because the, the team this year is going to be a lot of the team next year. So I've got, I'm going to lose still about eight or nine seniors, uh, but, um, but the kids that are at the top of my level on both girl and boy are both juniors coming back. Uh, and so we've got a, we're building for next year. Uh, and even though we have a really tough district next year, uh, my team's going to be better next year than it is this year, and, and we're having a great time and doing pretty well this year as well. Duncanville's going to win. Um, they just they have too much depth and too much strength. Uh, but uh, and Cedar Hill's got the best boy in the district, and he'll win because he's just too good. Uh, but we, you know, we're still behind. We were behind South and behind MacArthur and Cedar Hill and Duncanville, so it's like we were fifth in the fall. So if we can get some good luck and some good play at district, I think we can end up with that third place medal.